Welcome back to Let's Play Repton Around the World in 40 Screens, continuing the Africa levels. Now, we're in this little area at the start, and we've got quite a tight time limit, so we're just dropping those coconuts down, and then dealing with this tribe's person quickly before dropping into this transporter and ending up over the other side of the uh, screen here. And we can see the parrots are quite difficult to sing in the grass. Chalk that down as a uh, phrase you never thought you'd hear today. And uh, we've just got to link the cages to the outside, which uh, one done, and the parrot goes straight into there for us. And then we drop that down, pop it into place, make that uh, access to the bottom available, then just ignore the coconut as it drops down because it's going where we want it to go. Deal with the stuff over here, then wait for the one parrot to come over here, and we can grab the key. Now a lot of the transporters on this air in this uh, level are ones we don't want to go into, or ones we don't want to go into out of sequence. So this one we want to leave until we've done the rest of this area. And we see we've got two apples round here, which are our time capsules if you forgot. And uh, we want to leave it until the last moment to collect it because there's actually no time capsules over the other side of the level and this level is actually neatly divided right down the middle. So teleporting back over to the side we started at. And we see there's a tribes one which is dealt with quickly then we pop into this other transport and we see a couple of cages down the bottom there we've got to quickly repton shuffle this uh, coconut over here so we don't want the uh, parrots going into those bottom cages because we need them to let us through to the top area there and they're uh, taking their time around all those pineapples there so one of them makes a pathway and then we get rid of the, the pineapple and make the other cage available and then wait very very patiently for the other parrot to come across we see a couple more parrots over here, which we uh, time ourselves correctly to let one out and then uh, let one into that cage there. And uh, well, I suppose I could have made it a bit more easier, but uh, it looks more dramatic that way. Anyhow, we pop back into here after the parrot's done fluttering around there to grab the uh, remaining pineapples and to let all that Venus flytraps out and it's a good job because we won't be worried about that because it's right at the top. So we're just finishing things up here now and see that transport up there, we didn't want to take that one, that wasn't very useful to us. Next level, Kestrel. And uh, we very carefully pick our way down here and we won't be using that transporter down there so we can block it off like that and then we want to make sure we collect all these pineapples from down here because we'll be dropping a load more coconuts down here later on and there's two cages there so we've got to get the spirits from the uh, top to get into them there they are wait for them to pass by so we can grab the things in the top corner here. Be careful not to trap ourselves there. And uh, grab those down there, now we can drop down as many coconuts as we feel like it. We won't be coconut shy. <sighs> yes, I know I said I'd stop with the, the puns and the jokes, but uh, that one was just staring me in the face. Right, okay, so we're into the middle area now, and it's uh, quite important to uh, not drop too many coconuts down the left side there because of those transporters, and it is possible to block them off completely. So you've got to be a bit clever, make sure we can drop all these coconuts more off to the right than the left. So 
so not much to say about this. Just want to mention how it's quite nice that the colour scheme here, we've got yellow, we've got green, and we've got red, and of course black. But somehow they managed to arrange it into brown for the coconuts. I know I'm quite obsessed on this kind of thing really, but it's quite nice with the limitations that they had, they managed to find a way to expand the colour palette. So we want to take one of these transporters and we really want to time it so that we don't run into those parrots, but uh, most of the times we'll be uh, in a good position to uh, not get ourselves pecked to death by them. And we've got these cages down the bottom here which we want to make um, them connect to the outside and it's quite difficult because we've got to deal with all these uh, tribesmen as well. So uh, there's also quite a few coconuts in the top area as well. And uh, we've got to make sure that uh, there's a way back down because our hand grenade is right there near the bottom. So we've got this one cage to connect and fortunately I arranged all this grass and that pineapple there so that we could do that now. And so there's one parrot hidden up amongst all these coconuts. let him out now. So we can pop into the top corner, finally grab the key, and before we go crazy dropping everything down we'll just collect these things in the bottom corner, just in case we manage to block them off accidentally. Is it okay? Are we clear? Yes, there's a way in through the side there. How lucky for us. Right, here we go. You remember Revenue from Repton 3? And remember how I said it was actually quite easy? Well, that's come back to bite me in the backside because they decided to redo Revenue with monsters and cages and fungus and it resulted in this level. So we've got a very low time limit, we've got quite a lot of um, time capsules, apples spread around the place, but it's um, figuring out the path through this so we can do all things like this. See how many pineapples there are in this area? We have to figure out how long it takes us to grab all of these and when's the most optimal time to be grabbing one of the apples and uh, try not to mess things up like that. Anyhow, now is the optimal time to be grabbing that apple, and we can also see these, this fungus is arranged in such a way that if we pop through, it's very likely that we won't be able to get back through. So uh, there's like three corridors going through there, so we have to be very careful about how we use them. And the areas are set out so that we actually have to let one of these parrots through into the top area which will then go into the other side to get into one of the cages and uh, yes we have to kind of lead the way and hope this fungus doesn't spread too far now we have to make an access to this cage and then this one down here for these two parrots down the bottom and they'll go to there and we need to quickly run to our apple over here and make sure not to drop too many of these coconuts or any of these coconuts actually down to the left there because we need to be going down there afterwards and we can see yes the time limit is running out once again but fortunately there's an apple just there And yes, you see lots of transporters laid out around this level, they're really not much of a help to us. 
In fact, that one right at the bottom there only leaves you a few squares across, which is certain utter death if you haven't collected the uh, key because it'll lead you into a place where those um, parrots were. So finishing off here, we can see this um, these Venus flytraps from the start of the level are getting quite out of control, and that uh, one wasn't even um, unblocked before, for very long before it decided to start spreading on us. So, but uh, we're near the end of the level now, and uh, here we go to the grenade. So that's this that for this episode. See you next time.